Hi everyone, today I'm gonna share with you as so many people request how to make the, the hat, hat with the uh, flap in the back. When you're sitting down, you do thing in the garden and you know how you get the sunburn in your neck. And this is the fabric, I have it here. The wide side is 18 inches and the long side is 22 inches. And I also cut in here that long piece here. Also, you need seven inch elastic, and this is um, a quarter of an inch elastic. So, for that two long side here, you're gonna fold it in about a, um, a quarter of an inch double fold in, and then so do that two long side. The wide side, the 18 inches side, you don't need to do anything. So, go ahead and fold this in two times for one. And then you fold again and then you sew this this little one and then the, the other side too so everyone after i sew the line there the line here the long side this is the y side one of the y side here you're going to do exact the same so you're going to fold one and then fold again so, and then sew at the same at this and this is the other end of the y side the 18 inches why you go in to measure that two inches just mark the two inch this is very comfy hat everyone Now this side is slightly different. You go on to fold it down a quarter of an inch. Remember when you buy fabric from the fabric store, you always have to watch before you making something. First, you want to get the dust from the fabric out. Second, you want to make sure the fabric when it shrink, and you have the idea how much it shrink. Some fabric shrink really good too. So now after you fold a quarter up and end, you're going to hold it and bring it up to the mark that we marked two inches right there. You're going to go another fold. Hide a knock underneath and then slide. Slide it up like that. Now you go on to sew from here, just pick up the fabric on the on the piece of fabric and on the fold, just like this everyone, like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see really good to here. Like that everyone, and then continue doing the whole thing. Group up the fabric here and then the fold like this and start sewing all the way. When you do that, it's very, very strong sewing line here and also in this side you don't see the, the stitches. So everyone, after this is the small fold and sew the Y side. We're working on the Y side everyone. And on the top here, this is the big sew line here. That will be in the front. The fourth head. So on the bottom here, where the the small fold here. Remember, use the right side. Now you go on to mark four inches. Four. You go on to connect this line, so you can have the line, the straight line, right there only. So after you draw the line here, that's the four inch. From the four inch, you're going to mark down one inch. Connect this line so you can have the straight line to follow. Like that. So now when you have the one one inch right there. Let me show you the fabric, the small piece that we have here, 18 inches by 2. You're going to fold the two, two ends here in. Half an inch on each. So after 
after you iron the line here, you're going to place on the mark that you marked earlier. Just right on top of the line. I need you to sew the line very close on the top of the fold on two sides. So leave the space in the middle because we're going to add the elastic in there. So sew it close to the line here. Go ahead and sew everyone. So everyone, after you sew in the one in the fabric right here for the elastic, facing the right side when you sew. So this is facing up. So this side right here that we need to work on, the big fold in here, we're going to start from the top here, measuring down 14 inches. So this is 12 inches right here, two more inches. So you're here do both sides so you make it everything nice and even make sure you do that everyone 12 and two more 14 right there so I have a 14 inches from the top down on both sides from the line that we sewed it here to measure this down two inches all the way down mark two inches all the way so you have total seven because 14. on this side also so from the line down mark two inch Okay, so now what I need you to do, if you're working with the pin, if you like the pin, get the pin, you get the clip, get the clip. So I have the whole bunch of clip right there. So we're working on one side at the time, and then you go to move on the left side, it's exact the same. So what I need to do, it from the two in that I mark here, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to bring up to the line that we saw earlier. And I'm going to clip that down just close like that let me just zoom it in so you can see there and now working up all the way from two inch please it up so this is the two and just right here I'm going to bring it up to the one I just have and then clip it together this one too bring it up Two inch here, bring is up. Sit right on top of the the one that you just did. This one right here, bring it up. Like that. Now you can see. I don't spay it, I go right on top of it, about a quarter up an inch from there. Can you see clearly enough? I'm gonna add more here. I moved out here so you can see. Here, this is my last fold right there. Move on to the other side. You're going to do exactly the same. You're going to place it up all the way. like this freezing really nicely you see that 
if you want to make sure you go and hold these two together and see if it's nice and even if you do it right it can be like this evenly so go ahead and sew sew them together everyone just sew it from the line right here sew it to pass the the fold only both sides everyone just sew this line and sew this line in so everyone after i sew the bleed here remember if you have a hard time doing this do bait instead and then you can sew it in hand sew it best if you have a thinner fabric then you'll be able to do a sewing machine on the sewing machine so the elastic here i have is seven inches safety pin i'm just little thing like this so go in let it go through this this end right here push it in a little bit right here at the end sewed it in everyone Good enough. Continue to do to the other side. And today we have 70. We're happy with that. So go into the end here. Make sure you look and uh, you check the uh, elastic and see that no twisting. Make sure you hold your finger right there because if not, it's going to be a disaster. Now you can see the other end right there, sewed it in. Do exact the same everywhere. Right, so inside out like this. Cause we're going to sew this part in. Make sure you move the elastic out the way. From here, this fold right here from at the end. You're going to place right in the elastic right here. So the other side, remember the inside is the right side. So we sew on the wrong side. So make sure you move the elastic on the side away so you can move this side in. Everything midnight together. You're going to clip this. Now you can see something like this. You see the hat already? So what I need you to do, I need you to sew this in. Sew this in everyone. So that line that you just clip together, sew this together. So the hat can stay. This is the front of the hat. You can have a picture, right? This is the front and this is the back. So go ahead and sew that in. So everyone, I finished sewing everything in and now this is your hat. This is the front. And this is the back and this is the front side here. Try the hat on and if you like you like to add some flower, feel free to do that. We'll put it on on the mannequin and you can see how it looks. Hey everyone, the hat is finished and uh, I put on the mannequin. I just got that so I can show people how to do haircut at home and updo and things like that. Um, so I, I, I am a hairdresser too. So this is the hat, this finish it fit perfectly. This is fit for everyone, everyone. So you don't need to bring out or ninja or happen in or whatever. And this is the side, I add the flower right there. And this is the back. How nice. This is good for the people who putting their hair up. So it's an extra room right there. But if not, it come down very nicely. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please stay safe and take care.